What is up, sexy beast? Crazy Rabbit here in Sam and you guys, Mustang and Sally, on round 50. So let's go ahead and get the shit started. So Mustang and Sally is going to be the upgraded version of the M1911, which is available on Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. If you're playing on World of War and you upgrade the M1911, you're just going to get the C3000 Biatches, which, if you dual wield that, basically becomes Mustang and Sally. And if you're playing on Black Ops 3, really the only way to get this is if you're playing on a custom map, and it depends on which kind of custom map you're playing on, because some of the custom maps have the M1911 upgrade to be fully automatic, while some other times they actually do have it to be upgraded to Mustang and Sally. And if you can get Mustang and Sally and PhD Flopper, you're going to be set, because those two make for an amazing combination, and I really wouldn't use Mustang and Sally without PhD Flopper. And that's kind of like the main reason I just never grabbed it in Black Ops 2, is because it's just too dangerous to use. This weapon is not that accurate from medium to far range, so you have to be up close and personal to really be accurate with this, and you really never shoot at the zombies themselves, you always go for the feet just as you would with the ray gun, but the ray gun doesn't have as much splash damage as Mustang and Sally does. So without PhD Flopper, if you're using Mustang and Sally, you really do run the risk of killing yourself. If not killing yourself, you'll probably injure yourself, and then the zombies will just finish you off. But putting all that aside, let's talk about Mustang and Sally on round 50. So Mustang and Sally, damage-wise, it's almost comparable to the ray gun, it's right around there. But unfortunately, the good thing about the ray gun is it carries a fuck ton of ammo. And Mustang and Sally does not, and that's really the only problem I have with Mustang and Sally. It's only going to carry 62 shots, and you'll find yourself going through ammo with Mustang and Sally very, very quick. But even with that drawback, on round 50, it's still going to be a pretty decent weapon, and definitely one of the better weapons to have. It's going to be able to take out, I would say, two trains of 24, no more than that, just because we're run out of ammo. But it's not going to take them out in an instant. The first thing you're going to do is make a shit ton of crawlers, and then you have a shit ton of crawlers to actually worry about. And sometimes it actually won't make the crawler, it'll just injure them. So you have to be careful, because sometimes you'll have crawlers and runners mixed in together, and that's just really never a good combination. So really, if you're going for high rounds, I don't think I would recommend having Mustang and Sally. I would much rather prefer the ray gun because there's a less likely chance I'm going to kill myself and it's just a little bit better. But if you're trying to do like an easter egg where you just need a really good powerful weapon for early rounds, Mustang and Sally will definitely do it. Especially if you're playing on Black Ops 1 and you can get PhD Flopper. If you just need a really good early round powerhouse weapon, Mustang and Sally is going to be for you. If you need something for high rounds, you might want to go more towards the ray gun or the actual wonder weapon of the map. So that has been Mustang and Sally on round 50. I'm very curious to know which has been your guys' favorite starting pistol. Let me know in the comments and if you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe. Yeah, not already. Peace.